Pearson's correlation coefficient is one of the parametric statistical tests that can be used to evaluate and assess the relationship between two variables. Those two variables are parametric. And to determine whether the variables have a strong relationship, the direction of this relationship, and the value of this relationship, and the statistical significance. The test is based on calculating the coefficient, which stands for R, Pearson's R. To perform the test, first of all, you need to generate a hypothesis. And I will show you how to write down the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis to perform this analysis uh, using the Pearson correlation. And then once the test is run and an output is generated, I will show you how to write uh, that output into a text format to be um, inserted into a uh, documents or into a dissertation or into a publication paper. For using a correlation between two variables, the null hypothesis states that there is no correlation between two variables. The correlation coefficient, abbreviated here as R, will equal to zero. The alternative hypothesis will state that correlation between two variables does exist. And so the R will not be equal to zero. So it will be uh, either in the direction of the up to plus one or to minus one. Once you perform the test, a p-value is generated. If it is less than 0.05, then that indicates significant value and that will lead to accepting the alternative hypothesis. Again, the software will generate a value for the coefficient, which range from minus one to plus one. In this next slide, I had inserted an output for a com correlation between two variables based on Pearson's um, correlation coefficient between a uh, weight and the calorie or calories consumed. And as we can see here from the table, the value for the R is calculated and is equal to 0.88. This is a high value, a positive value, indicate that weight and calories are related, correlate there is a linear relationship between them. When there is an increase in the calorie consume, consumed, there is an increase in the weight. So this is a positive relationship and it's a strong relationship because it is have uh, or it have a value of R close to 0.88. Uh, the correlation is significant. As we can see here, the p-value is less than 0.05 and the total number of the participants are 100 here as shown by this uh, table and also the table has generated a bootstrap for 95 percent confident internal inter interval such as the upper and the lower uh, confidence interval so how do we insert this into uh, a text or into a word document the way to write that is to use the line below here r which stands for correlation between two bracket degree of freedom degree of freedom is calculated from n minus k n is the total number of participant k is the total number of variables we have two variables here calories and weight so the value will be for the degree of freedom is 98 and then after that an equal sign you put the value for the r which is 0.88 and then the lower 95 percent confident interval which is 0.77 and the upper 95 percent confident interval which is 0.98 and then followed by a comma uh, and then the b value of 
less than p value less than 0.001 how do we write this in a text format to place it in a document we we'll report that as a following Pearson's correlation coefficient was calculated to evaluate the relationship between weights and calories consumed the test has showed statistically significant positive correlation between the weights and the calories comma and then insert the um, findings from the statistical analysis that is obtained from this table so this is the way to generate and write down the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis when you intend to do correlation coefficient analysis based on Pearson's and then uh, how to uh, write that into a text format to be placed into a dissertation or a publication paper.